here in his life. <laughs> I happen to think it's the former because he's very talented, very funny, and very determined. Please give it up for the amazing Cyrus Steele. How's everybody doing? That's what happens when you don't rehearse, people. That's what happens. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually uh, very excited. I, I was able to actually win uh, the Funniest Accounting last year. Um, and a lot of people, they'll ask me, so what are you up to right now? A lot of people, they wanted to kind of give you uh, an update. And uh, he, the Tom is right. I had a nice, cushy job at uh, Equifax. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a nice little cushion job at Equifax. I uh, guess that's what they say about comics. We have good timing. I left uh, about a year ago, but it was like a little over a month, a little over a month after uh, I had won. I was like, you know, I think I'm going to do this full time. You know, I, I kind of toyed with comedy off and on. So I finally threw myself in, you know, head first. And uh, so now I'm broke. And I uh, appreciate that. I just want to come back and let y'all know I appreciate that. Yeah, some of you may have actually recognized me uh, coming in. I was probably panhandling you, so I apologize. Yeah, so some of you are like, that's where I recognize him. That's where I recognize I'm sorry. I, actually, uh, I had to run up here. I just, uh, quick announcement, they are out of toilet tissue in the men's restaurant. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, I, I, I've gotten excited about doing comedy and whatnot, but I, I do have my, my, my drawbacks. Like I talked about, uh, one of the funniest accountants. One of the things I'm proud of is being uh, the first African American to win the funniest accountant. Uh, I know some of you, uh, well, no, Reggie Harper is here, so he's kind of looking at me kind of funny right now. I have to put an asterisk with that. I have to put an asterisk with that. I'm the first uh, cross eyed African American <laughs> funniest accountant. That's right, some of you on the front row have noticed because you don't know who I'm looking at. <laughs> Neither do I. Neither do I. I'm talking to you. You. Uh, yeah, it is. I talked about it before. It is tough being cross-eyed. Uh, yeah, it is tough. It's not what you think it is. I know you think it's just fun La La Land, but it's not. When y'all go to the movies, y'all have a good time. You like, you go to the concession stand, you like, let me get two of those and a medium popcorn. You get exactly what you order. That does not happen for me, okay? I like to watch it when y'all do it, but that does not happen for me. I'm like, let me get uh, two of those and a medium popcorn. And the only thing the concessionist gets right is the medium popcorn. Everything else is a guessing game. Yeah, he hands me back cookie dough bites and Starburst. I'm like, sir, excuse me, I asked for two goobers. Why did you give me cookie dough bites and Starburst? He's like, well, sir, one of your eyes was looking at the cookie dough bites. The other eye was looking at Starburst. That's why you have cookie dough bites and Starburst. I don't have enough pride to correct the man, so I just go back to my seat, which is also a problem. Because when I go back, you know, it's dimly lit. You know, I'm trying to focus my eyes. I go to my seat and don't realize that the lights come up. I've been sitting next to an 80-year-old woman the whole time. Yeah. So the girl that I came with is looking at me like, uh, what, what are you doing? You didn't hear me? You didn't hear me? I was like, why didn't you say something? She's like, well, you and your new girlfriend kept going, shh, you're being rude. I was like, you were being rude. I felt kind of uncomfortable and a little queasy about it because at one point we were making out. I should have known when she said she had to take her teeth out, so that should have been a dead giveaway, but who am I to judge? Yeah, tell me having a lazy eye, kids want to tease you, especially my teachers wouldn't even tease me. When I take a test every Friday in middle school, my teacher would be like, keep your eye on your paper. <laughs> yeah, I'm also a little bit of an introvert. I think there's some misconceptions about introverts. Not that we don't want to talk, we're not good at small talk. Just give you a perfect example. Ma'am, how are you doing? I'm talking to her, ma'am. I, 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 how are you doing, ma'am? I'm already exhausted. Uh, I think I proved my point. Yeah, I, it's tough being an introvert, you know, because people want to have you talk in large groups. 
And I have to say, you know, I, I, I don't really like it because it's doubly bad for me. Number one, I don't have much to say. Number two, I'm cross-eyed. Ain't nobody gonna know what I'm talking about or who I'm talking to when I have something to say. So it is tough, it is tough. I actually, last year, I, um, I did a joke and I wasn't able to do the full thing, so I hope I can do that tonight, if y'all don't mind. Just kind of amuse me for a second. I was talking about, thank you. I, I was talking about being uh, bad with directions. I am bad. People will ask me for directions. I'm like, I'm cross-eyed. Why would you come to me on where to find something? But, um, yeah, they have this new app called Waves. I don't know if you've heard of it. Yeah, one of the most popular voices for Waze is Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I was wondering why people would use that as an app. That's got to be one of the most violent road trips ever. <laughs> yeah, that accent too, right? That's just you and Arnold and him yelling at you the whole ride. Get out of the lane, get out of the lane, come on. Come on, listen to me, the cops are coming. The cops are coming, Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter, get into the chopper. Ah, ah. <laughs> See, I don't need that in my life. I need something calm and soothing. Like Barack Obama, that's a calm and soothing voice. Unless you're in a hurry. Say, so if you got five minutes to get to work, you got a fork in the road, the last thing you want to hear is, oh. <laughs> Let me be clear. Uh, you could go left. Or you could go right. But what you don't want to do, what don't I want to do, Barack? You don't want to sit here. Uh, which is what you're doing right now. Well, which way should I go, Brock? Well, you could make a U-turn. It's like I tell Sasha Malia, Brock, I don't have time for Sasha Malia to start trying to get to work. I thought about using Donald Trump as a GPS voice. Some of you know him, I see. I did, uh, but I realized like some of you, like he might exaggerate the directions just a little bit. I'm just saying, like you're taking a slight right, next thing you hear your GPS say, okay, you're gonna take a huge turn. It's gonna be so huge. So huge. It'll make your head okay? That I can tell you, that I can tell you. You know, a lot of people are very tense about the election. The only thing, I didn't really have a dog in the fight, you know, shout out to Michael Vick. Um, is it too silly? Is it too? Tom told me, Tom told me. Celebrity Apprentice. Like, I wish he had done his administration like Celebrity Apprentice. Just have different celebrities trying out, like Eddie Murphy. I would have loved to see him as a secretary say, be like, let me tell you something, let me tell you something. This could be great. This could be fabulous. You can be president. I'll be Secretary of State. And in the morning, I'm making waffles. <laughs> well, thank y'all so much. Have a great night. Thank you.